Welcome every skateboarder on the planet to another episode of Gary Response. Jack Carroll says that pop shove was one of the most unbelievable things I've ever seen. Same here, dog. I have no disagreeing with that at all. That pop shove up the flight of steps was so ridiculous. And then he's flying and he, he not really stuck. He's kind of in control of himself. And pop shove seems to want a fucking burial when you're like trying to go up shit. So to get it with that precision just doesn't really add up to me. Pop shove is a bitch sometimes. CB Jordan says, I guess Shane's modesty is better than if he was cocky. Everyone will really hate him if he act like he knew he was incredible. That only works when you're possibly not incredible. It's like, all right, if you're good, like nice is good. Style kind of sucks. So if he does anything cocky, we can disagree with him. Like, nigga, you ain't all that. A little stiff. Something wrong with you. Now you're fucked up. All right? There's something wrong with you. Shane O'Neal is like past hella fucking good. So it's like, if he was like, yeah, I'm hella fucking good, we'd be like, yeah, you're right. It's not cocky. It's facts. I think it's the difference. MK says, the wide ramp that Gon's Ollie was four feet longer back then. They made it a little shorter. I understand that. They did. It's, you know. It's still really hard and incredible. I just wanted to point that out. It didn't look as big. But for him to do it at his age is still super amazing. And Gon's is just all around super good. He's not overhyped, he's not any of that. He's actually something that we need to protect and hold on to, because he's still enjoying it with us. He's like, he's still along for the ride. A lot of niggas gave up on us, our own bars and shit. You know, you're wearing all white, killing it, and then you just decide to retire. Nobody's ever done that though, so it's cool. Uh, the Silent Ewok says, so you're not gonna mention Jordan Maxim's move to blind? Oh, he just informed you guys that Jordan Maxim's on blind. Cause we were all like, yo, what is Jordan Maxim doing right now? I feel like if I announce he's on blind, I'll be wrong because he's going to get on a new team next week. He just goes wherever he wants, man. He takes his talents with him. He just fucking keeps it moving. Maxi Patty says, useless wooden toys. What a waste of time. If she's still using a wooden dildo, man, I don't know what's because she gets splinters in there. That could be nasty. You're not talking about no skateboard. So you have to be talking about your lady using a wooden dildo. That is a waste of time. Silicone, baby. Addery Miller says, how about Mike Mo vlogging on the tube? And when you realize how messed up, how messed up getting messed up skateboarding is, um, and how baller he kickflips with a limp foot. Uh, Mike Mo is a superhero for being able to still skate with the a foot I believe isn't growing back the muscles properly. That shit's fucking crazy. Skateboarding is fucked up. That's just reality. But it's also fun. So, oh shit, no, nah, yeah, 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 he got fucking mutilated in the golf cart at Camp Woodward. You know, shit. It's like 15 seconds of having fun with your friends can just fuck everything up for you, but it's okay. King Not Notch says the Skateboarding Hall of Fame is still missing Daywan. I do not think that's a true statement. I could have sworn Daywan made it in. If not, we have an actual problem that needs solving immediately. Demo Danny85 says never sleep on Canada. We on top for a reason. I mean. Ain't like Iceland or something above y'all. I don't know. I just don't. Come on now. I try to give y'all credit. Don't, don't start getting. Don't lose y'all minds. That's the most probably most forward thing I ever heard a Canadian say, my nigga. Like y'all, y'all good and all, but Shane O'Neill's from Australia. That is the lowest point on the planet. It's on the bottom, down under. He's better than all y'all. And I say that with love. Savage OG says, "Why can't I commit to frontside Smiths?" I don't know, nigga. That's like one of the easiest tricks to lock into, bro. You better. Oh, so I'm doing no, I'm fully kidding. That trick on flat bars can get intimidating. You probably aren't learning around a round bar. If you can find a round bar, try it on that first. And you just like kind of put your toe in that back pocket and start locking in. I see what you go through because it takes a little bit for sometimes too, like on a like a, on a square rail, like man, that trick's a little doozy for me too, but you can learn it pretty easily. You just gotta keep that back foot in that pocket. Hold on. Matt Smith says, Gary. Nobody is uglier than New York skaters. Let them sleep. <laughs> Damn, that's not, what? That's funny. Grinnin says, gun to your head. Shane or suit you? Whoo! All right, let me put myself in. Got like this to my shit. You gonna blow my brain. Do I gotta, like, does he have the name for me? He's gonna be like, nigga, who better? Or does he have a gun to mark at Shane's head? And who skating can I live without? Whoo! Kill me! I'll go for them! Sacrifice me! Bullet right here, nigga! Roll my shit off! Make me look like John F. And this bitch! 
But if I can't do that and I'm like, I've fucking found the Super Dragon Balls and I've wished for invincibility and one has to go, I've had enough of you, Shane. You, you, you talk shit, you cocky. You don't know how good you are. Mark's still building on himself. He's going to college to learn how to probably astrophysically learn how to skate better. I don't know. So you gotta go, motherfucker. Damn, I just killed Shane O'Neal for Mark who can give up a skateboard tomorrow. Cold Piss says, how many links does Gary have? Bitch, we know. Two of them. Link right here. That wraps up another episode of Gary Responds. Click them. You heard the nigga. You heard Cold Piss. Give you them two links. Shout out to that nigga.